What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. We are moving from Williamsburg to Ocean City, Maryland in this uh, episode. And boy, do we have a lot to talk, lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. Uh, today, we're going to look at some things that we've done to prepare for storms because we had one heck of a windstorm roll through here. couple days after we got here and it was it was kind of crazy the other thing is is we got to hang out with family that we haven't seen in over a year and thank you so much uh, guys for for coming out we really appreciate it and really loved uh, getting to hang out with you but we're gonna talk about a few things we're going to uh, get you up to date on where we've been what we've been up to and uh, talk about the storm preparation uh, that we have uh, kind of come up with. Today we are leaving Williamsburg where we've been for the last two weeks. Yep, and we're headed to Castaways um, in Maryland on the Eastern Shore. Eastern Shore, right up near Ocean City. So we are excited to, to start this new Northeast trip. Um, we can't wait to get going, so. But we are hard at work at trying to get the RV ready to roll and we should be leaving pretty soon. Almost done packing up. He's done with the outside. Um, I'm putting dishes away that I had to wash. Getting some much needed coffee. <laughs> yes. Figured I'd show you guys real quick what it looks like as we we're actually packing up to leave on travel day. Uh, since I don't think we've shown you that before. But everything has a place and everything gets kind of stored away. So he only locked twice off. Seems uh, easy enough. That one okay or you want me to see if we can get it to 83? This one's fine. Okay, well, let me get out. I'll help you. Okay, call me. Hello, my love. All right, you're back there, right past the turn. Good. Can we go around and look at the other side? I can't see your passenger side. No, I've got that side. Okay, come on back. You're good. You turn any sharper? Yeah. You got it. Keep coming. You can come really far back if you want to and then pull forward closer to the box. That's what I was going to do. Keep coming. All right, ho. Where are you going? I am driving home to my mom's and dad's for a couple days. Hmm. Where are you going? <laughs> Nicholas has to take his geometry SOL in person. So he has to go back to school for one day. So we're going home, the home area, um, for a couple days, you know, because we're going to take that long of a trip. Might as well stay for a little bit. And then we'll be back. Yeah. We're only like what four and a half five hours we're four and a half hours away without traffic so hopefully there isn't any backups going through the tunnels so you know what that means guys like i'm gonna be here for three days house party just kidding it's just gonna be me and nick and then the doodles are coming with me because we're going to our favorite groomer to get done mm -hmm. um get them groomed while we're in town and um so you get michaela and pixie yeah we're gonna go explore you get the easy two yeah We'll make do. <laughs> We're gonna go explore while you're gone. Yes, go find out where the ponies are. So, All I, can, right. so I can go see them when we get back. I love you. I love you. Be careful. Take care of my dog. Be easy? easy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not worried about the daughter, just the dog. Well, my daughter could take care of herself. <laughs> I taught her well. <laughs> All right. The dog I'm a little bit worried about. <laughs> we said when we went full time, you should, as long as you were able to go home anytime, right? Yes. And this is a little bit cheaper than flying, so. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Now, I don't know if this would be cheaper if we were on the West Coast, but since we're Northeast. It'll be cheaper. I don't think it would be uh, quicker. No, it won't be quicker. Yeah. yeah, but like if we were only going for his SOL testing, that would be different. Like if there was a family emergency, I want to get home as fast as possible, then the flight is the quickest way. Yeah. But. Bye. All right, well, 
Me and Michaela are on our own for the next couple of days, so we are going to explore and check out and see what what this area has to offer. Mommy and brother are back in our hometown. Yep. Taking a test, and tonight is Daddy Daughter Date Night. Yeah, we're going to Ocean City to uh, see what we can get into and try to find something good to eat. You excited about seeing the ocean? Yes. Right. So excited. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ocean City. Where um, the wind blows. Where it's very windy and cold. Okay, what did you think of Ocean City? Most of it was closed down, so we couldn't go into anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, all we did was walk down the boardwalk. Yeah. Not but, e like halfway. But it was pretty. Yeah. And it was cold. Windy. And windy. So windy. <laughs> Still a little early, you know, late April. Not the season yet for Ocean City, but it's pretty, pretty place. We're actually um, going to eat here at Coastal Smokehouse. It's outside of Ocean City, back on the mainland. So uh, we're gonna go try this out. Wind just beat in the RV. We had a wind advisory here. It was 20 to 30 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50, 55 miles per hour. And right now we're still under a wind advisory and it's it's kind of windy, but it's dying down, but there's still some gusts. But at 2 a.m., the RV was moving and that was, that was kind of weird because it wasn't raining or anything. It was just straight winds. Um, but thankfully everything is good. We we knew it was coming, so we hunkered everything down. It's, it's really important to check the weather while you're while you're out RVing, especially when you're in areas that you you're not really familiar with. So always make sure you're you're keeping an eye on the weather and uh, put things away when you need to. But yeah, it's turned out to be a really pretty day. It's just super windy still. And for our viewers, what is Mrs. Dash chicken? <laughs> Uh, you just take chicken breast and soy sauce and um, the original Mrs. Dash seasoning and cook it all together in a skillet and shred it up and it makes really yummy chicken. Um, we usually like to eat it with broccoli and um, macaroni for you gluten-free noodles with Velveeta cheese sauce. <laughs> Folding clothes, cooking dinner, cleaning up, getting lint off the floor. Because we have company coming. <laughs> yes, we have family coming to visit, which Yay. is exciting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> first time having somebody stay the night with us, that's not our instant. So, so. they'll be the first ones to stay the night in our rig. Yes. It's very exciting. I hope they like being on camera. <laughs> Might want to ask them first. <laughs> <laughs> is it your patio life? That's a doodle life. Dinner? Yes. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> like, what is wrong with that dude? He's tired. <laughs> How you been? <laughs> How you been? <laughs> you get Jeff, so excited. Get For your uh, YouTube debut? Of course I am. Hi. <laughs> Dinner time with Josh's famous ribs. What do you, what do you got to say? Yummy, yummy. Yeah. In my tummy. Look, you got two beautiful dishwashers right here.
So you saw we're in Ocean City. We had a yeah. crazy windstorm come through. Two o'clock in the morning, the whole RV is just shaking. And uh, I think it was shaking more because of the side toppers, but um, because, you know, they catch the wind. Well, it's 50, 50 plus yeah. mile per hour winds just banging against the side of this 45 foot sail. <laughs> uh, so it's it's always important to make sure that you're checking the weather. We have AccuWeather app that we paid for. I think it's like $8 a year. Uh, it gives us a lot of the different types of alerts. Yes, and, and then I also have the Weather Channel app on, on my phone too. Yep. So it gives us the incident alerts. Yeah, so always be sure that you are checking the weather in your location, uh, especially when you're traveling to a place that you're just not familiar with. Uh, the other thing that we do uh, is actually when we do see that weather coming, we pack up everything outside. Put our put our patios up, everything, just in preparation. Yeah. Every awning's in. The only thing we can't put in is the slides, of course, because then we can't get to the kids' room if the slides are in. But I totally would do that, too, if we felt like we needed to, and just all of us be in the garage. Yeah, we got, we got to a point where we were considering just pulling our slides in because it was just, it was banging uh, the slide toppers pretty bad. And then there's also some other uh, things that you can do. Always make sure you have uh, a bag yeah. packed. Uh, just kind of a getaway bag that you can grab in case. Yep. Like for when Pixie was hurt in the Florida Orlando area, we always keep the dog's records on hand, but I also keep a bag of their food in the car um, on hand all the time too. So that if we need to get up and go, I don't have to worry about dragging their food out of the camper. Yep. It, it's, it's good if you have plenty of time, you know, hooking up the RV and leaving is an option. Right. But if something comes, springs up on you, you know, being able to get in the car and go and have some supplies is going to be important. The other thing you can do is uh, I've, I've heard some people say that they fill up their tanks and that puts a little bit more weight underneath the floor. It gives you a lower center of gravity. I don't know how much that would actually help, yeah. but I have heard people say they do that um, when it comes to high winds. So when it comes to weather, just be prepared, especially in the RV life. Yeah. The other thing we want to say is thank you so much, Jackie and Josh, for coming out and being with us for the weekend. Uh, and the girls. And the girls, Jessica and Jocelyn. Uh, it was awesome seeing you guys, and we really appreciate you coming out. It's like the best part of being able to travel is to see everybody that we love so much. Yep. So. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. Until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own.